All right, I just wanted to hop on real quick, uh, show everybody what I was working on. I'm working on a set of forks for a TTR 110. We're actually gonna be installing the dampening rods and stiffer springs on this one. I'll show you the difference real quick in the dampening rod. We've got the stock dampening rod and then the BBR, which BBR is actually a little bit longer. And on the dampening rods, you're gonna have like an O-ring when you get the old one off, you can switch it out and reuse it if you want to. And you'll put it here in this groove. Got those. This is a stock spring versus the BBR heavier spring. They're about the same length, but this is, you can tell, is a thicker, heavier spring. Uh, a couple tips I'll throw in there. One of them is going to be the bottom bolt. Yeah, bolt. That goes on the bottom here that comes off. It does have a crush washer in there. You can see the copper crush washer at the bottom. You might want to order those too if you're going to get into this project. Um, I'm going to reuse this one, but then I'm going to use Teflon on the bottom threads here when I put this in to help seal it so it doesn't have a leak. Uh, another thing is I do like to leave these forks, particularly on the bike when I do them. Uh, one of the main reasons is the the bottom bolt's easier to get off when it's bolted to the wheel and then I'll pull the wheel off, like I'll loosen it. Uh, and then when you have, when you're starting to do your reassembly or your disassembly, it's easier to get this top cap in and out when you compress it and you're compressing down the spring. If it's bolted into the triple, it'll hold the shock for you as you're trying to push this down and in. It just makes life a little bit easier, but I'll get this one. It just so happened the customer dropped these off to me. Um, also, you're going to be in there, so you're going to want to grab a fork seal and a dust boot to replace those while you're in there servicing these. It's just better preventative maintenance. Uh, and there's differences in fork oil weights. You can do a 15, you can do a 10. I don't know if there's any other weights. These are just the two I have on hand at the time. Um, this will change the characteristic of the dampening of the fork. Um, depending on your weight. If you're a heavier person, you're probably gonna run a heavier oil, but you can switch oils and figure out what you like better. Other than that, that's just what I'm working on today. I'll have these done pretty quick and then back on the bike, but that's it. So shout out to BBR for making these parts actually, because they make a hell of a difference once you put them on the bike. So, and a lot of nicer to ride them. But yep, have a good one guys.